This series of video clips introduces you to the CableEye PC-based cable and harness test system. You may use these clips to learn what the tester can do prior to purchase or as training material for new employees or those not yet familiar with the equipment. CableEye is PC-based with expandable hardware. As a result, it offers great versatility and can be used to test simple cables, multi-headed cables, complex wire harnesses, wiring equipment cabinets, bare printed circuit boards, and components. In addition, optional software offers guided assembly for connector pinning and wiring. To start using CableEye, install the software and connect the tester to any available USB port on your computer. Double-click on the CableEye icon you see on your desktop to launch the software. Insert any combination of plug-in boards needed to accommodate the connectors on your cable and attach the cable you wish to test. This shows the CableEye main screen as it appears when the program is started. The left side of the screen contains buttons and indicators you use to control the tester while the right side of the screen shows one or more windows that display test results, wiring schematics, and error lists. Measure a cable connected to the tester by clicking Test Cable or pressing the Test Push button on the tester itself. A summary of the cable's connectors and wiring appear just above the Test Cable button, while the detailed wiring connections display on the large blue screen. In this case, we've measured a standard RS-232 serial cable with a DB9 male connector on the left and a DB9 female on the right. All wiring is straight through with no jumpers or crossover connections. Notice that we show male pins with solid circles and female pins with open circles. Male pins here, female pins here. CableEye makes it easy for you to see that all nine wires plus shield are present in this cable and that there are no shorts or missing connections. The wiring display presently shows each connector as if we were holding the ends of the cable in our hands and looking into the pins. Click the View Direction button to see how the wiring would appear from the termination side, that is when the pins are pointed away from us. You may likewise flip the view on the right side of the cable by clicking its view direction button. This button looks like the side view of a connector, with a red arrow pointing in the direction of view. Notice that an outline appears around the connector shell when we view it from the rear. You may also highlight individual wires in the cable by clicking on any wire. Scroll through the wire list by pressing the up or down cursor keys on the keyboard. Notice that the pin connections of the highlighted wire appear just above the wiring schematic. If you'd like to view a wire list rather than a schematic, just click the View Wire List button to change the display. Each line of the wire list shows a connection group that is a group of pins that are wired together. For this example, pins from the DB9 male connector appear in one column, while pins from the DB9 female connector appear in a second column, and the list is sorted in numerical order. In this case, each wire in the cable is connected to just one pin on each side. You'll see later how we show more complex cables in which three or more pins are connected to a single wire. Additional columns in the netlist show the resistance of each wire, any special resistance tolerance that we may wish to apply, the wire color, and description. You may choose to display other columns that may be of interest also. Change back to the schematic view at any time by clicking the red bow tie button. This shows an example of a more complex cable with four connectors. Also notice that we have a resistor, a diode, 
and a multiple connection group. When viewing the netlist, we can see the wire color assignments and any descriptions that you may wish to enter. With more than four connectors, the number of columns shown may become too wide for the screen. In this case, we can change to a traditional from to list. In the next clip, I'll show you how to learn a model cable and compare it to a unit under test.